We're going to be stress testing the i7-6700 along with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM on my, basically my old Nadercraft map. We are going to be loading the crap out of the server and pushing it basically to the brink of crashing. We'll try at least. Sometimes it's really hard to do that. So let's do this. We have world edit installed. That's going to be our friend today in this video. We're going to fill our, and then we're going to do lava. And we're gonna do 300 to start. So it kicked us off, it said timed out, but the server is still running. All right, so at this point we're using over 15 gigabytes of RAM, which is about half of what we have allocated. The CPU is jumping at around about 350 to 400% right now. All right, we finally got on. But we're at a 27 and a half gigabytes of RAM used out of the 29 and the memory is lit up red now, which is not good, but somehow we're able to join the server. The CPU usage has dropped quite a bit. And as you can see, it took a while to render that lava, but it did it and it didn't crash the server. Boy, are we close to that mark right now. So if we do like basically another fill our command with water, which is nine, and we do 100, let's see if we can get it over the edge here. That one was able to do it quite fast. Let's go a little bit bigger. That would be 516,000 bucks. Oh shit, the server restarted. Wow, it didn't even save anything. Oh my god, everything's back to normal. I, it's kind of annoying when it does that, but also it's kind of a saving grace if somebody were to grief your server really bad. But like, uh, we'll just have to restart from scratch. We're not gonna go as crazy this time. I'm thinking we'll get the wand and we'll just start making some selections here that are pretty large. So if we go like that and we fly over here. I don't know, we'll go like maybe right about to my actual house in real life. And so that is 10 million blocks. Let's see if that can actually fill in a reasonable amount of time. We'll set it as stone, which is one. All right, 10 million blocks. So it should be loading in here any second now. That took probably about 15, 20 seconds. Timed out, uh oh. Let's give it just a few moments to process here. And we're in. There should be stone. Yes, there is. My poor house is filled with stone. Stone everywhere. All right. Let's get some TNT going here. So we're going to do just a couple layers. So dash dash fill TNT and we'll do 300. If we can spell it right, that is. 283,000 blocks and then we're going to do it again and then we're going to do it again and then we'll light it all right let's see what fps we're getting here uh, just around 100 Yes, what are we getting TPS lag? We're getting 20 still. Amazing gas. We're gonna fill more TNT here on the ground. And then another layer. And then another layer. I've gotta get out of this TNT so I can go mess with the command blocks. So, let's do this. One command block, dash summon, enter dragon, and then we'll do always active, repeat, and then we'll do repeat, and there we go. So it's nearby somewhere, and then we're just gonna place a million of these all around. The 
game is pretty much at a standstill here. I mean, this is unplayable. Cannot handle a million ender dragons being spawned at the same time. Let's try walking away if we can. This is absolutely a PowerPoint slideshow here. Uh oh, server's starting to bug out. Wow, I didn't think it'd be lagging this far out. The server is really starting to hate this amount of torture. There we go. All right, let's see the TPS now. It's at 3.96. We need to make it lower than that. So I'm gonna make a new command block. TNT minecart, repeat. Here it is, right over our old village here. And we're just gonna copy this command block. Let's do a DPS check here. <laughs> it's actually gone up. How is that possible? It should be going down. That's actually really strange because usually when I do these stress tests, usually it's always going down. So that is kind of unusual. I think we've killed it guys. I mean the server is still running and it's glitching out and it's warning us Hey, hey, hey you're going too nuts with this crap. You're going way too far and it's showing a bunch of red text everywhere and it's just absolutely going berserk but it's still going up. It just restarted. So the server finally crashed and that's it. Let's see if it even saved anything that we did. That's how I crash Minecraft. That is the best way I can do it. Load a bunch of stuff, fly around a lot, and summon a bunch of you know Endermen and Ender Dragons and everything, and a million of them and TNTs flying everywhere, and then that's a good combo to kill a server. It's not even letting me all F4 out of my program. There we go. I'm kind of scared to join. But then again, it might have reverted everything we did. So I don't know. Connection refused. It probably still has everything then if it's not letting me on. That's just my guess though. It might be so broken now that it's not letting me on my own. <laughs> I've literally destroyed the server. If it's not letting me connect after the server restarted, the server is gone. And I mean gone. It is so beyond repair that the only way to fix this problem is to delete the world or to delete all the chunks that you messed up in the world, which requires some knowledge and not everybody probably knows how to do it. So the easiest way would just be to restore a backup of the world <laughs> and then go on with your life, you know? But I think I've literally royally destroyed this world. Let's try connecting again one more time and I'm gonna call it. If it doesn't work, oh well. Yep, alright. I'm gonna have to call it here, guys.